New at six, two women in Northwest Arkansas are going the extra mile to make sure every kid has a chance to play soccer by starting a club for children who are neurodiverse. Five News reporter Rachel Williams shows us the impact of this inclusive soccer club. Cherise Grigg and Melissa Cartwright saw a need in the neurodiverse community. They filled it by creating the Super Kickers, an inclusive soccer program in Northwest Arkansas. One team is in Pea Ridge and the other is in Gentry. I spent a whole season doing research and um, developed the, the program games, uh, activities, things like that. Um, and then we had our, our first season and we've been posting about it on Facebook, trying to get other towns to um, reach out and kind of start a similar program. But the reason behind the soccer club is personal. I grew up with a special needs brother and I have watched my mom still fight to this day to make sure that he has every opportunity uh, needed. And it's a lot of opportunities that we take for granted. One of my players had a brother who was on um, the autism spectrum and he was loving watching his brother play soccer. He wanted to play with his brother, he wanted to play with his brother. And I had to admit, I didn't know of any. So, um, and I, had told her, I was like, well, he can come and play with us. A super kicker mom, Rachel Fox, drives an extra 30 minute commute every week for her daughter, Eva, who has Down syndrome, to provide a sense of normalcy for her. She absolutely loves soccer. It's a place where she could be unapologetically herself. She's in an inclusive environment with uh, not only her um, intellectually disabled or disabled or neurodiverse peers, but also a neurotypical peer group. Fox says the club is also affordable, which helps with very few free or low cost inclusive recreation activities available in the area. This just happens to be one opportunity that we especially like and that Eva really likes. Spring 2023 was the first season for the Super Kickers. Sharice says this fall is all about connecting with other kids. When we practice our, um, when we practice games or we have our games, they have buddies that come with them and they, they develop relationships even with the buddies, but they're able to be out there just kicking, having fun. Both coaches say they hope other cities in the region will create similar programs for kids with all different types of abilities. It's very rewarding. It's very, it's beautiful to see in action and I would love for somebody else to be able to say, hey, I can do this too and, and make an impact because I, I will admit half of my kids are not from our town. In Benton County, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.